Welcome back. It's Journalist Hangout on Sunday, and we are going to spend two hours every Sunday from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. And I have Babajide Kolade Ochitoju in the house and Adewali Adewye. Moving on now, from a country with free debt burden about a decade ago, Nigeria is gradually becoming a debtor nation again. Fresh loan requests have pushed the country's public debt to over 35.5 trillion naira. This followed approval of a fresh 6.15, 6.18 billion dollars, which is about 2.53 trillion naira external loan from the executive by the Senate. This is to fund part of the 2021 budget deficit, which stands at 5.6 trillion naira or 41% of the total budget, or 13 trillion naira. How did we get off this? How do we get off this yoke? Babajide, in the last three years now, I've been hearing of the fact that we don't have money to finance our budgets. You know, before, it used to be an issue of budget implementation. Mm. And it was quite new that, oh, so you made a budget, you don't even have money to implement your budget. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, we will now have to resort, you know, we borrow, we borrow, we borrow. At the end of the day, we are looking at 35.5 trillion naira as our debt now, debt burden. Yes. Um, what I would have expected, which is what many countries of the world have done, in the post-COVID era mm. is to reduce the size of the budget. Everyone is reducing the size of your, your, your expectations. You are, you are aligning your goals and your expectations to current realities. Mm. Mm. We are the only one that I've seen that even in the post-COVID era, we are sticking to a, a, a big budget. Blue Whereas the funds to make things happen, hmm. talking about the budget, are not there. Hmm. Okay, look at the, the president asked for more funds the other day. So the National Assembly has approved um, in excess of 800 and uh, something billion. Part of what that money is needed for is to build a gas, uh, uh, an oxygen plant. Because they have realized that, look, if we do not have an oxygen plant, mm. we can't effectively fight COVID. Yeah. If there is a major breakout, where do people go? <laughs> Over a period of three days in Abuja in December, mm. I think uh, 18, 19, and 20, they ran out of oxygen. Mm. at the uh, isolation center. People died, ah, including VIPs. Mm. Mm. They died during that period. So we, the, 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 the supplementary budget now that the president has asked for, see how huge it is. It is in excess of 800 billion. Mm. That's to tell you the state that we have found ourselves. Mm. For how much longer are we going to be borrowing money to implement our budget. And Jude, if you that look is at a question. How of, much longer? Out of this 800 billion you are talking about, look at the amount that is meant for recurrent expenditure and the one for capital. I saw it yesterday night and I was like, wow. I think you should be talking more about what we are setting aside even for debt servicing. Debt ser servicing. Because that is the greatest fear that I have. Mm -hmm. When you have to spend so much money on debt servicing. Even infrastructure development will suffer. Hmm. Because we simply do not have the revenue to support the things that we want to do. Hmm. Debt servicing is taking a huge chunk hmm. of our revenue. And our revenue is tied likely to oil and gas with all its volatility and all that. We need to sit down and tell ourselves that, look, the way things are now, we should be looking at debt to 
revenue ratio, not debt to GDP. Mm -hmm. Our debt to GDP ratio is currently at thirty five percent, according to uh, Okonjo Iweala, our own do, uh, daughter, Okonjo uh, Nigeria's mm. daughter, Okonjo Iweala. But we know that debt to GDP ratio does not tell the whole story. A country that is grappling with revenue, for example, you are talking about GDP. Mm. It does not simply translate to money like that. Mm. Where are you going to find the, fund, the funds to continue to service this debt? The higher they go, the higher the cost of debt servicing. Mm. We've got to know that and, and tell ourselves the truth. The higher our debt stock, the higher the cost of servicing the debt. And this debt servicing is denominated in, largely denominated in, the, in, in dollar, actually the foreign debt. Mm. So in the first quarter of 2021, mm. we have spent 1.02 trillion yeah. on debt servicing. Mm. Out of this debt, the, the domestic debt is a little over 600 billion. While, uh, um, um, uh, what's it called? The, the foreign debt is just 410 billion uh, naira. Foreign, uh, the domestic debt, 612.7. Foreign debt, 410.1. That's what we have spent to service debt. 1.02 trillion, the first quarter. So by the end of the year, we will have spent in excess of three trillion yeah. mm. Mm. servicing debt. Mm. That's about a quarter of the size of the budget. Mm. And look at what can do with that money. Mm. That's mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wally, we can't continue like this. We can't go it's on like a this. Very unfortunate situation we find ourselves. Let us admit that uh, countries do borrow money. Nigeria is not the only country that is indebted. Brazil, the United States. But the difference is that you could see what they use, the loans that they got. You could see the practical uh, investment that they are putting their accounts the federal government too, they, they are, the federal government too said, look, the, you can they see what they are doing this. For, and this is for small scale enterprises. 1,000 used to be employed in the 774 local governments for the power sector and then for public health. Those are the, you know, uh, the main focus. But infrastructure. When you look at that, road, yeah, infrastructure and all that, but, but when you look at the public health, what is the state of public health in Nigeria? Even the small-scale enterprises we are talking about, then you are looking at power sector. Has power sector improved? Mm. Nothing has improved. So I, I think we are in a very terrible situation. Like Baba Gide said, last year we increased our budget from 10.8, uh, from 10.5 from trillion to mm. 10.8 trillion. At the time that we had uh, COVID-19, mm -hmm. which you were expecting That's that the budget, you know, would have uh, gone down. And then with the cost of governance, you know, yeah, it's yet to be, uh, to, to be affected. If you look at what people in the National Assembly, for instance, let's say you are thinking about 109 senators, what they get in one year, nothing has been done to reduce that. You are talking of something, if you combine them with the House of Rep, it's going to the range of about 22 billion, you know, to pay people that are in the National Assembly. So we seems to be borrowing money just for consumption, not to invest in productive ventures. Mm. Agriculture is still in a mess. Mm. Education, we have not done not enough investment. Public health, housing. So at the end of the day, I think uh, we are going to uh, put this country in a very difficult situation. I just pity the government that we take over, the people that we take over in 2023. Because mm. it's really going to be very difficult mm. and legacy for them. Mm. I think we're in a real mess. And I, I think it's just, uh, we need to be very honest with ourselves to admit the, that uh, this is a very big problem on our hand. You know, uh, it is true that we are spending some of this money on infrastructure. Mm. No doubt about it. But there is always the fear of a debt trap. If you fall into the debt trap, mm. you must pay. It's not, they are not going to say, oh, because we have seen what you are using we the money. Servicing it. You must pay. And, that's mm. the and we are servicing it. And that service, when you, you, you set aside so much of your money to debt service, ah, it will affect we'll even see. what uh, other areas that are critical that need injection of funds. Mm. 
there is only infrastructure. It will be affected. Yeah. You know, I, I think by the time we got to the peak, it's peak during the Obasanjo regime. That's when we ask for debt forgiveness mm -hmm. and all that. Never but we 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 yeah, it's more now. Now. Deep. now the and the reason the president and and uh, his aides must listen is it's not Babajide saying it or uh, Adioye saying it. Okonjo Iweala, our own Okonjo Iweala mm. of the World Trade, World Trade Organization, Organization. Mm. was warning the other day. Additional of ADB eh, was also warning that look, if we continue along this path, we will fall into a death trap. Now, Moralu is also saying the same thing that from 12 trillion in 2015, we are now uh, at 33 trillion. And that if public debt continues to uh, increase at this rate, then we should be worried because mm. it has increased by 173 percent mm. from 2015. Mm. So at the end of March this uh, this year, it was already on 32.85 uh, 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 um, trillion. trillion. Mm. Now we have 35.5 trillion. Mm. Yeah, because even uh, more, they've added more to the, more debt with the, uh, this week. Shile is calling us from Lagos. Thank you for joining us, Shile. Ah, uh, good afternoon, my brother. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, this is Shime again from Lagos, from Mededa. Okay. I, Go ahead. I want to appreciate you so much for what you guys are doing. Uh, I really, really appreciate Thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, Baba Jide? Yes. Naka, <laughs> you You see, the, the problem we have in this nation, sorry to have bring you back what it needs to. This issue of insecurity mm. is not a problem that government cannot handle. It's not a problem that we ourselves cannot handle. Mm. It's an internal problem. Yes. The people that are the cause of this problem, they know them. Mm. The government know them, especially the northern leaders. They are their children. They are their grandchildren. They are their family from foreign nations. I don't want us to... They can always bring them down. <laughs> don't narrow it down. Please. Mm. Let's talk about insecurity across the country. Let's talk about Well, mm. the, the only thing I can take from what you have said is mm. that we can solve this problem internally. Yeah. America will not come down to help us defeat Put soldiers on the ground. Banditry. Put defeat, no. If we equip the police sufficiently, mm. we have seen that the police can even handle mm. this problem. Mm. But over the years, we didn't do that. We didn't allow recruitment to happen mm. into the army. We didn't allow recruitment to happen into the police. I don't, I don't know. Now we don't have enough soldiers. We don't have enough policemen. That mm. is the truth. I doubt if we have, with all the problems that we have in the notice, if we put 50,000 troops there, it's not a bad thing. But I doubt if we've ever put up I to that amount, three, uh, that number of soldiers in that place. It's just, uh, we, 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 we really need to... Or do we have commissary equipment? You can, even mm. the, the chief of defense staff was talking about equipment some days back, that to defeat this kind of insurgency, there's a need for modern weapons. He said it, mm. and it was quoted in the papers. Mm. We too had been saying that for some time. The long time. Uh -huh. People yeah. will think, oh, they are just uh, making noise. But you see the people who are using this equipment, they, they are coming out to say, look, we need modern weapons to, to prosecute this war and win. Hmm. Well, really, when you look at the... Let's, let, me, let me take you back to uh, a dirty body. Hmm. And ultimately, how do we get away from this shackle? I don't know. Maybe it's regulated. I think state governments, hmm. state governors too, they, they take foreign debts. I don't know this is together and they accumulate yes. mm -hmm. I don't think we have the political will to address this uh, problem because this is a very unusual um, situation and it needs unusual uh, response. Mm. As long as we people still want to live 
as if they are they are worthy, they are comfortable in the midst of poverty. Mm. You know our leaders. Then we are not serious about addressing the the problem of uh, of debt. Mm. The debt you are, but we are, you know, you still find that people in government they still live on the teachers' next, lives. Next year we you will know? still we will people, still borrow money yes. to uh, to fund our budget. So it's, uh, how many for how many years do we want we, to continue, we'll continue that? to do that? Our revenue is, is, is diminishing. That is then compounded with security I, problems. So I don't think we are really determined. Hmm. You know, to to address this problem. Ultimately, look at what um, Mogalu was saying. We have to stop further borrowing and start to manage the current obligations in order to avoid a sovereign debt default hmm. or, at best, a costly restructuring. Hmm. Further borrowing will lead to a disaster debt bubble burst. Hmm. That's wow. a former uh, the deputy governor, 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 governor of Nigeria, CBN. That's, yeah. that's so factual. That's, we can't, that's we can't continue, continue from like thirty-three, tri yeah. from twelve trillion in twenty fifteen to thirty-three trillion. Yeah. Hmm. You know, from uh, trillion naira, hmm. from twelve trillion naira hmm. in twenty fifteen to thirty-three trillion naira in twenty twenty-one, and it's higher now because we've added more, from ten point. 31 billion dollars mm. in mm. June 2015 to 32.85 billion dollars is rising. Mm. We are spending more on debt servicing than capital expenditure. Oh, it's very, very so it's, annoying. It's uh, very annoying. Capital any, when we, yeah. we need any, any, any decent Nigerian should be worried. Mm. Mm. But we know there are, there are many people out there who are not decent. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on now, hard times are here with us and they are biting harder from various fronts. Rising food inflation is driving most Nigerians to breaking point and one of the commodities causing more ripples is tomato. The price of tomato in the country is, has risen to an alarming rate of forcing many citizens to lament a situation worsened by shrinking income from Kano to Lagos to, to Lagos to Asaba to Kaduna, a number of factors like insecurity, poor preservation methods, aging farmers, and high transport costs are set to have combined to push tomato price to record high levels. Let's share the reports on this as compiled by TVC News Abiola Sholanke. The tomato is a fruit from the nightshade family native to South America. Despite botanically being a fruit, it is generally eaten and prepared like a vegetable. Usually red when mature, tomatoes can come in variety of colors including yellow, orange, green and purple. Tomatoes are the fourth most popular fresh market vegetables behind potato lettuce and onions nigeria is africa's second biggest producer of tomatoes in africa after egypt but inability to keep supply steady all year round leads to a spike in prices at some time of the year an uptick in the prices of foodstuffs is making it extremely difficult for many households to feed in nigeria Especially on the high side is the price of varieties of tomato, a major ingredient needed in cooking too. Housewives are concerned and they say, though tomatoes are usually expensive at this time of the year, it had never been as bad as it has been this year. CVC News visited the popular Ojaoba market in the heart of Akure, Ondo State capital. This tomato seller is disturbed about the rising tomato prices. This one is 500 naira, 600 naira. They are not really buying it much because it's too expensive. Farmers are running away from the farm. Both old and young ones are running away because of insecurity. In Egiti, uh, this week, farmers were kidnapped. On our cocoa, uh, the new cocoa plantation we are develop, developing in Jugere, we are working on 2,000 hectares of cocoa. Five of our young ones were kidnapped right on the farm. 
But why has tomato become so costly? Why are people paying more to cook with tomato? It's because there is um, they no bring it from farm. So all the people that they are doing it from farm, they say they no they no they no, they don't want to stay the farm. Some residents also shared their experiences with our crew. So when they are tomato, but from now, now there's, there's nothing like that. It starts from 500 now. Before you even see 200 naira tomato step, you, you you do like this because because it's expensive. It's not the same um, quantity that that you buy before. In Abuja, buyers and sellers are lamenting the hike in the price of the commodity. It comes in different varieties, which means there is variation in cost, with some far more expensive than others. Tomatoes from Joss and Kano are usually considered the best and more expensive. But now, there is a hike in price affecting all varieties, leaving buyers and sellers grumbling. This is now, now Benue tomato. Benue tomato, with the color and boko. So it is different with this one. This one Adurika. It is from just come. So this one they cost more than this one. A big basket of tomatoes has witnessed a hundred percent increase in the price it was sold for in February and March, with a dustbin basket selling for between three thousand five hundred to four thousand naira. Here at the Gaki market in the center of Abuja, tomatoes appear slightly cheaper as a basket sells for between 3,000 to 3,500 naira. The price of tomatoes are really increased compared to what we used to have. A basket that sells for 1,200 to 1,300 naira have now increased to 3,500 naira. Sometimes we sell them for 3,700 naira. We buy the big baskets for 30 to 35,000 naira. We can hardly get the big basket to buy due to the increase in the price. For buyers, the prices are unimaginable and they are now searching for alternatives pending when the prices come down. Price always every day. Price rises every day. Something you buy today, like you can come yesterday and I can buy this in 3-5. When you come today, it will be 4,000. Like me, sometimes I buy small. I mix it with tin tomatoes, I put vegetable for my children. Sometimes I can buy a goosey, mix it with this thing. It will give you this, we manage it. As long as it's sweet, my children will take it like that. The prices of tomato in Kano markets are on the high side. Traders say the increase was as a result of its unavailability in Kano farms. This is the tomato unit of Yankaba Market, Kano, one of the centers where perishable crops are sold. Traders are battling with the increase in prices and shrinking patronage. The unavailability of tomatoes from Kano farms due to their seasonal nature is one of the reasons for the hike. Osman Ismaila is the chairman of the unit. According to him, the product is now being transported from Chawai in Kaduna, Zaria, and some parts of Benue State. Tomato seller in Asaba, the Delta State Capital, say the high cost of the highly in demand vegetable has led to reduced sales and low profit margin for them. A look at the sales of tomatoes at the popular Ogbe Ogonogo market in Asaba revealed that the commodity, which is likely brought in from the northern part of the country, is sold for as much as 50,000 naira a basket. As of last year, they used to buy it uh, 20,000, 30, but as of this year, 
Could you believe that they bought tomato? 50 something thousand a basket. That's why they're selling to 1,000 per cup. Spiraling the cost of living, unbelievable prices of tomatoes on the surge dwarfing people's income. During TVC News visits to various markets in Lagos, it was discovered that prices of tomatoes had increased tremendously. How much is this? 300. 300. What about this? I want to. At the Alagbole market, a basket of tomatoes used to cost 7,500 naira, but it is now selling for between 30 to 40,000 naira. This small portion on display usually goes for 100 to 500 naira, which is the biggest size, but it has witnessed 70% increase. Shitu is a pepper seller who has been in business for some years. He says this is the first time in five years that the prices of tomatoes will be this high. I used to buy the crate of tomato three months ago, 800. 700, but now it's 20,000, 22, 23. Crate, I'm not talking about the basket too. I'm talking about the crate of tomato. Well, I want to have like a big basket now. You have to say, I like, I maybe more just say less 50k. 2, yes. You're going to have three crates. That crate, what is it so? Now three, they full. One big basket. That's the biggest basket. Ada John is here to buy some tomatoes but couldn't after hearing the price. Actually, everything here is, um, I would like to say, triple the price or more than triple because um, things we actually get for two, 200 naira. Now they are saying each, we are getting it for like 800 naira. And you can see that it's very, I can't, I can't even buy anything. I came to the market, I've been pricing, going around, I can't get anything. I visited the Sura market in Lagos. The situation was not different. Just short a basket like this, 20. The bigger one is 50,000. And when we want to arrange it, we will arrange it 3,000 to 5. It's that time that we can just see 500, 1,000. It's very, very expensive. We don't know what is happening. Since we've been selling markets in the markets, then with my children, they go to school, they went to university. I haven't seen this kind here. Currently in Nigeria, about 1.8 million tons of fresh tomatoes are produced each year. But more than 50% of this is lost due to the lack of storage system, poor transportation and lack of processing facilities. The one that is inside a uh, greenhouse, it used to take two to three weeks to free preservation. When we took it there, before it marketed, does not, uh, they have not come for buying our product there, then we used to preserve it that it will take such weeks that I've told you before. Then with that crate that we have been used to preserve, it will not allow the tomato to be uh, shrink as it is, whether in other such a local crate that we normally used or traditional crate that we normally used. Open up our rural roads today. Let there be rural infrastructure. I believe we have done enough in our towns and cities. Let government across the board face our rural sector. You will discover that people will move away from urban centers. Experts are hopeful that tomatoes would be produced in large quantities to meet demand all year round if numerous farmers adopt the preservation method. Abiola Sholanke, TVC News, Lagos. We were actually inspired to go for this tomato story out of people that decided to call out Baba Jidekolade Otitoju when he spoke about the reality of things about this tomato in the market and people called him fake journalists, people called him all sorts of names and people drew him out and they were saying that he, does, he can't substantiate his claim. So we decided that we'll go on investigative reports 
across all our correspondents from Abuja to Akure to Kano to Asaba and Lagos. Now you can see that this is all time high. Talking about these crates, somebody is saying that a crate of tomato, not even a basket, that they were buying 800 naira, not from me, if you uh, just listen to that woman, that they now buy it for 20,000. Yes. You can, mathematicians in the house, you can just calculate that kind of inflation. I don't know how many percent inflation will put from 800 naira to 20,000 naira. Yes, in Sura market, in woman in Sura yes, market. Yes, in Sura market, mm. 50,000 naira. 50,000 uh, a basket. A basket now. Yes, in Sura market. Now, the truth really is, I, I, I've, I've read a lot of books, philosophers and the rest of them, and they've encouraged me to always say the truth. Mm. They've also told me that when you say the truth, mm. people will fight you. Mm. They come because for you. the world naturally doesn't like the truth. Mm. At Mende Market, mm. we didn't get to Mende Market. Yes, Mende Market, very yes, Because yeah. we had to cut the story. It's the story. At Mende Market, the same portion of tomatoes that I bought that my wife bought for 1,000 naira is now 1,400. Yes. We are not talking about tomatoes, not this type. You know these ones? No. Some people are posting this, this that uh, mm. thin one that mm. looks like a finger mm. and some arrived ones. No. Mm. The best tomato is the wine red. Mm. That wine Finger red, ones, yes. yes. That's the best tomato. Whether it is from Kutonu Mm. or from Nigeria. We have, we produce it in Nigeria too. Mm -hmm. We produce it in Nigeria too. Mm. Of that quality, that is the best. If you want to buy that one, then you should be ready to pay through your nose. That mm. is the situation. Did you hear that woman from Sura Market who said that she sent her children to school mm. selling this? She said she has never in her life, in her life witnessed witness where tomato was this expensive. Mm. That is, they said, a philosopher said the truth is like a mole. You cover it on one side, it comes out at the other mm. side. Mm. So no one can cover the truth. You can call people names. Mm. That is your business. But we are in the business of determining what is the truth. Facts are the tools of our trade. This is what by is going the out now, by going out now, mm. we have allowed people to talk. Mm. One of the reasons that for their uh, calling me names is because the fact that I was alluding to security when I said, how did we get here? But in saying, how did we get here? I was trying to find the reason for this unusually okay. high yeah. cost of tomatoes. Mm. Now you can see that. From 800 there are crates to 20,000 there. There I can't just phantom that. Kind yes, of how, can you, life, how can, how can anyone lifetime, imagine that? What kind that? of percentage is this? Look, if you go to Port Harcourt, the story from Port Harcourt is worse than this. Hmm. The reason we couldn't put Port Harcourt is because Ucho, so Ucho Koro didn't you know, uh, finish the story on time. On time. Hmm. If we play what came from Port Harcourt, it's a lot worse than what people have seen today, where they are buying a crate for 50,000. Abiola Shawake just assembled from Delta and different so states. states we Look have. at it from, from uh, Asaba. From 20,000, it's now 50,000 a basket hmm. and 1,000 a cup. Hmm. What I snapped that people were hitting their heads against the wall was not even up to uh, was even bigger than a cup mm. in Asaba. A cup is one thousand naira. In Abuja, we also have a situation in which the price moved. Right now, um, they are buying basket thirty five thousand. So when they put like, like the type that I put uh, in that picture mm. in Abuja is one thousand two hundred. So you see that whichever, whichever way we look at it, mm. the price of this commodity has been going up it's, it's, it's to record crap. levels. You saw that man. They say tomato farmer mm. on a big scale. Mm. The one that we interviewed, mm. Mm. they interviewed him in uh, in uh, in Ondo State. 
he was talking about farmers being chased away from farms and some of them being kidnapped. Yes, yes. Five, he said one, five were kidnapped mm. the same day. Mm. Now, is insecurity not uh, a factor? The big one. Is it not a factor a now? Are Nigerians not saying it with their own mm. mouths now? A big one. You know, some people feel that uh, when you say this thing, when you highlight it, mm. that it's because you don't like the current APC administration. Not knowing that <laughs> this is just the reality on ground that we are trying to uh, bring that has nothing to do I, with. I think your best friend is someone who tells you the truth. True. And I don't understand. I don't, do, does it mean that these people buy, they don't eat tomatoes or something? Because personally, even though I didn't know that this topic would be coming up, we'd be crying on my, you know, my in my household. Yes, yes. <laughs> because <laughs> suddenly, you know, when every family we went to my I'm 12, sure we went out there. We the, went to Nibo. The 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 what we are saying now to be cheaper. Not the same problem. The same thing. Mm. And the same every thing. housewife is, is is lamenting. Yes. And look at the state that produces tomatoes: Jigawa, Plateau, Benue, Kaduna, Gombe. Baoshi, Sokoto, Kebi, Nasarawa, and Safara, and Kogi State. Do, do, don't they have security problems? Hmm. Oh, oh. If you look at the, 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 the dynamics, all these states are you know, confronted with one state or the other. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what are we talking about? Look it's a major Plato. problem. You know, the mm. prices have gone up. In fact, we have about eight varieties of tomatoes in Nigeria. All of them, not even go on the street and find out. I'm sure the even the Shana will be very expensive. Yes, yes. Uh, and the ones who are making so much noise on social media, that is the quality that they eat. Mm. Mm. But for mm. some of us, it's not a matter of pride. You can't we see. work for our, we, our wives. Our money. We work for our wives. Mm. Some luxuries that we do not uh, even feel like enjoying, mm. our wives want to enjoy. Yeah. Yes, now. You can't tell your wife now. And your children that, that you want, mm. this is what you want that to give this them. Is children. With all the hard work and the risk that yeah, you money take, tonight. that okay, you want to uh, give them. This is, the, the, it is that thing one that. Yeah. Yeah. That they should yeah. that, people that, that I know that yeah. do that is uh, people that sell on commercial business. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the only way they can make, uh, money. Can make money. This time yeah. of the year, this is July. Yes. Traditionally, we usually have tomato glut. Yes. Because we will start planting at the beginning of the rainy season, which mm -hmm. is a, uh, March, April. So this time, the prices are supposed to go down. Hmm. Traditionally. Hmm. But look at what we are having. Everywhere hmm. all over the country. I'm surprised hmm. that there are some people that don't believe. You know, I'm shocked. No, they, they, can go and, they can go and argue with those women in the market. Because some of these people, they are fed by their parents. Mm. And the people who give them don't handouts. ask questions. Mm. So they mm. don't even know what mm. goes on in the market. The market. Mm. Yes. But they can go and argue with the woman in Sura Market yeah. who sent her children to university mm. and said she had never... Mm. Ever ever face this yes. kind of situation. Mm. That it had never mm. been this expensive. Mm. Remember that boy too. Mm. That boy who was talking about the basket, I mean the uh, the the crates, the crates. Mm. he also said in five years yeah. it had That's never, never been, been this like expensive. This. That's never so been like this. It's not a question of uh, look at this one, this uh, that one that was mm. shown earlier. That's the wine red. That is the best quality. When you cook your soup mm. with it, your yeah. soup will be red. You know, and it's sweet. It's sweet. You know, it's not sour like the other. Yes. Mm. Like those ones that are mm. not ripe. I saw pictures on social media of some terrible quality tomatoes mm. that some people are saying, oh, <laughs> this one is 200, this one oh. is. Uh, it's, it's, but yeah, that's not what we're talking about. about. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking Even those about ones are expensive. Go to my store. Yes. They are expensive. They are expensive. Comparatively. Look at this mm. one. Look at, uh, look at the quality. Uh -huh. If you buy that one for 200, mm. I won't worry. But look mm. at this. Look at that. You know, there are many things that we need to do. Yeah. As a country, we need to improve. We are second behind Egypt in tomato production mm. in, uh, in, in, in uh, Africa and 13th in the world. But we know that we can do much better than yeah. we are doing. Yes. Our tomato belt, we need to expand our tomato belt. Mm. And even the tomato... Um, 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 what is it called? Um, the Focus derivatives from okay. it. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Jewish. We need to um, paste and we need flavor. to set up mm. companies mm. because that way farmers will be encouraged. Yeah. Because it is from this tomato paste and the rest that they can make good money. Mm. Mm. In Kano now, when you go to places like Rano in Kano, 
you will see them because Dangote has uh, tobacco mm -hmm. being the concentrate company. Mm -hmm. So they know that there is ready market for yeah. them and they are supplying. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. that one will impact on prices. Sure. Mm -hmm. Because there is a big market, uh, mm -hmm. market mm -hmm. that Dangote uh, um, uh, offers to them. So even that one. And the when they take the juice, mm -hmm. what is left can be fed to cattle. Because when I was doing that Ruga mm -hmm. story, mm -hmm. I also saw that okay this uh, the the dry ones the dry ones are fed to cattle mm. in the insemination uh, unit of the Kano state uh, uh, government because it's located around that tomato belt in mm. Kano then the issue of preservation mm. which we couldn't mm. go into because if we were to go into it we would spend 30 minutes on the tomato story yeah. mm. but there's a documentary mm. Mm. that we are doing on that the, mm. the issue of preservation tomatoes in our country tomatoes can hardly last three days mm. Mm. because we have not found an effective way of preserving it yeah. now in Kano, they are working on so, on, on on that mm. to ensure that you can store tomato for three weeks mm. oh, that'd be great. Mm. Again, we couldn't get to that on mm. the story because mm. this is mm. just the version for the journalist anger. But mm. by the time people see the documentary, they will see some of the moves that are being made yeah. to uh, enable us to uh, preserve tomato better. Because half of what we produce in Nigeria is lost. Mm. Mm. It's lost half of mm. it, either in the cost of transportation and all service. that. Yes. All those uh, uh, shah that you are talking about, mm. it is in the cost of bringing them that they damage you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Then, of course, diseases mm. also mm. affect mm. them. Mm. What are your last thing on this? Well, I think it's a challenge for all state governors all over the country because there is no state where uh, you cannot grow tomatoes in Nigeria. Mm. People will thrive yes. in loamy soil, mm. but there's mm. no state mm. that mm. you cannot. Mm. So it's a challenge for mm. you know for a state government. Instead of sacking civil servants, deploy them to the farms. Yes. Mm. Let mm. them go farms. and work. Anyone mm. that doesn't want to Small work on farms, farms, you can, farms here and you can, there. Uh, you can um, you know resign. Take them to farms. Let them be productive, so that we can uh, improve this kind of uh, situation. Mm. And even when we farms. were young, yeah. Yeah. in the secondary school in those days, our secondary schools had farms. Of course, mm. every student had his own yeah. farm. Mm. When Obasanjo came, more yes. yes. for the nation. Yeah. 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 Every student had his farm. Mm. So we need to encourage, we can do, we have the potential to lead the world in agriculture. Sure. Countries mm. that are not blessed with arable land like mm. us. Israel. Look at what they are doing. Israel. Mm. Look, at look, look at what they are doing. Look at Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. See, they are, they are making mm. money. Some of the countries that are head of the world in agriculture, they are nowhere as, as, uh, as big as Nigeria. Mm. Hmm. But they are doing very well. Look at the state of California. California hmm. accounting for more than half of what America, uh, the tomato that America consumes. Hmm. Hmm. So we, we need to do a lot more. Our farmers would then be happy because a lot of them are losing money because they are unable to preserve this, uh, hmm. this hmm. fruit. Hmm. Hmm. All right. On the final analysis, whatever we put out on the social media, is what we can substantiate. Yeah. We are not rumor peddlers here. Mm -hmm. So we can substantiate it. We have the means to tell our reporters to go around and everything. It doesn't have to do with any party affiliation, please. No, no. So <laughs> it's not... And it's not... Tomato, uh, it's it has nothing it's to not do an it. issue of, oh, he doesn't like the president. No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's it. something we... So we have to the point of saying, oh, he criticizes uh, the president. If I don't criticize the president, who should I criticize? Are we? Is it are you back with that? We elected him. We didn't elect him. I'm not sure. President. What is the job of a journalist if you cannot yeah, criticize the president? To 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 by criticizing Constructive them. criticism. Yeah. Yes, there is no time that we don't offer mm. suggestions. Mm. That's my job. Mm. And if anyone thinks I will stop doing my job, then he's wasting his time. We're not going to stop. No, 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 nothing like stop. that. I We're give that stop. promise. Nothing. We will criticize stop. the people in power. That's, yeah. that's, that's our job. That's the job of journalists. We went across and from Makure to Kano to Asaba to Lagos Delta just to prove to those people there that no, they are the ones who are liars. Not, <laughs> not so me. We can prove it. We upload this even now. So, we'll media, social media, media platform, we'll so be that 30 minute see documentary yes, is ready. So that uh, you see it and you get more information. It's our responsibility to inform you more. Yes. So, <laughs> since you are not informed, we will do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this timeout and we'll talk sports. Stay with us. <laughs>